Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming with another exciting tutorial series. If you are an iOS developer and making an app, then you all the time need that your app looks very cool and attractive. There are several ways to do this. But one way is to apply an animation to your view and make your look very cool. So there are very very basic methods which apply in the UI kit and which which uh, display your view very nice animation so in this video i'm going to show you some basic animations so as you can see that i have a design made by default right now it's a very simple design you can made in just two minutes this is a simple ei ui image view back in the background this is the label this is the rex fields and this is the button and i took all the outlets in my view controller by dragging him simply and put the name so you guys i hope that you guys do this by your own so here you can see that i have two text fields outlet one logo output label and the buttons outlet suppose we want to any give an animation to the logo uh, if i go to the main storyboard I want to give the animation to this Uber logo. And the, uh, guys, another thing is that uh, this screen is from my one of my tutorial series, how to make the Uber app. If you are interested in this Uber, how to make Uber see Uber, so go down in the description and check the link. So quickly go to the view controller, and here uh, you can see that there are two methods I declared already one is view will appear and the second is view did appear so the basically the purpose of this method anything you want to uh, apply or you can say initialize before the your views view come so let's go to main story board before the this view comes the these actions you are going to call here and the actions you want to call after your screen appears that actions going to write here so for for uh, uh, applying the animation to the logo let's uh, say uh, logo dot center dot x equal to minus equal to view dot bounds dot width so the meaning of this is that we are going to initialize the center of the x to, to the minus of the views width so if we quickly go to the main dot storyboard so here you can see that my center dot x is equal to the center of center width center point of the width so suppose this is the 7 width is the 750 so the center point of the uber is a 375 so i am telling that before the view appears let uh, let assign the value of center x to minus 375 whatever the value this is the minus so if if my center of the x is 100 i am going to say that put my view to here somewhat here so before the view appears we set our uh, views uh, center point to minus and now for doing the animation we want to write some code in the view did appear after our screen appears and that is a very simple method ui view dot animate we don't want this complex one right now with duration and the interval how, how much longer we want animation let's say 2 this is slightly more time but I am going to show you exactly how the animation works and let's say enter and this gives us the block we want to animate so in this block we are going to write whatever views we want to animate so in this block we are going to change the value of the center point of the logo so let's say logo dot center dot x 
प्लस इक्वल टू व्यू डॉट बाउंड्स डॉट विथ सो इफ नाउ आई एम टेलिंग अवर व्यू नाउ टे वी टेलिंग दैट आफ्टर द स्क्रीन अपीयर्स लेट्स शो दी लोगो टू हियर by animating this is the ui view dot animate function is given by the x apple itself so let's quickly cancel this what is the error here i say that self okay we, we are using the block here so we are going to send no another error is misuse of self okay so we have to indicate that we are talking about the view dot self dot view so self dot view and now if i quickly run the app and check it out what it's look like and say mm, as you can see that here our uber logo is coming from the left side it is minus 375 to plus 375 here the speed of the app is slight uh, animation is slightly so because we, we here we set the duration to 1 if i set the duration to 1 you it will the animation will slightly fast around uh, the name check you can see that here animated very fast uh, we want to do this with all the Uh, other views like text field also to, to both of the text field so quickly say username text field dot send dot x minus equal to view dot bounds dot width let's quickly copy and paste we have we have to give the space otherwise swift is very very sensitive Going to give us an error. Instead of username text field, we are going to say password text field. Password text field, and the UI UI animate property. Uh, is the advantage of this method is that we can animate as much as we we want in this block. So let's quickly say copy this both and go uh, paste. Uh, here we have to provide self because we are use we are writing this in the block self dot in here you have to sign plus plus and say self dot view self dot view now if i am running the app and let's quickly say what out will it gives <coughs> sorry here you can see that our three of our views animating from left side uh you can you can apply many varieties like uh i want some variety in animation so let's say copy and paste this and not with we don't like to, we don't want this method but say i want animation after some delay so for that one other another method is animate with delay this one so the animation duration is 2 seconds let's name one or one second the delay is 0.5 second option is let's say nil right now and the block we want to assign and com completion and uh, completion block is nil we don't need anything after completion so here you can after both of these you can provide it here to make variety in your animation what is the error okay nil we have to we have to pass the empty array all right so now if i am running this app and say what output it gives you can see that this animation happens after 0.5 second delay so after after this view appear in the point after 0.5 seconds this 
block we will call so you can this is the another method another type of method you can provide the delay here and now let's quickly say uh, you have to provide the option as you can say that in here you have to provide option let's say you have to provide some varieties this is animated options array provide uh, repeat and now let's quickly run and say what it gives you can see that our animation goes into the infinite loop it repeats our animation you can you can this is an array so you can provide any of the varieties like after dot repeat like say auto reverse so it will reverse the animation automatically this is the functionality provided by apple again and let's quickly run and say again what is what is gives you can see that our uh, it looks so cool that uh, our text feed goes back to its minus position again Le you can um, see any of the variety in this animation there are se plenty of several options like other dot cows in out cows out let's say cows out you can add this and add the variety to your animations like cows in out or cows in or repeat or auto reverse by applying the delays give the durations you can see that this cow in, in out effect is out effect showing here so this is a very cool stuff you can provide as much variety you want by this simple method ui view dot any math if you want to delay the app use this function if you don't want to delay use this and guy and and remember that you you want you can call any of the a, a number of any number of views here it doesn't uh, you have you don't animate doesn't rec uh, restrict you all right that's it for basic animation thank you so much for watching guys and very very thankful to you by for watching this video please like subscribe and please comment if you have any doubt please please comment i'm going to help you anytime so let's learn together these all the things thank you so much for watching again have a nice day goodbye